Alrighty, so we are live on stream. We are going to be testing out the new Sabnak Festival character, the new summer waifu that everybody is uh, clamoring on about. Uh, obviously, she's been out on JP and KR for five days now. I've seen a bunch of gameplay. She actually seems pretty solid. Uh, we're going to be doing this without any like crazy costumes or anything. Uh, she gets this one for free if you spend 900 gems to like complete the rotation. Some of you might not have this one, so apologies if you don't. This, I mean, my account is already skewing the results a little bit here. Uh, she does have one uh, attack piece to start with one weapon and then you do get an affection headpiece as well so she technically has two of these without having to buy any sort of crazy costumes so that is nice we did get her four six i just went ahead and invested those just because i wanted to get the uh or pay less uh resources to upgrade her but uh i doubt we'll end up getting the ultimate anyway if i do just take some of that with a grain of salt of course uh the unity also does get upgraded a little bit it is eight percent at one six so that is one of the only things that's actually going to change from mine to a one six and then the ultimate is pretty crazy um the basic gist here is that she's going to apply a debuff called uh enhanced or i think it's just regular she implies uh enhanced uh, hallucination to one enemy with the lowest hp percentage and then the other two enemies on the field get regular hallucination uh, and then once you use your main attack card, this one right here, it is actually going to remove the hallucination debuffs and put on the delusion debuffs. And then after, like, one of the characters that has the enhanced um, hallucination will get enhanced delusion, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see that. Um, I don't see that in here. Where is that? Delusion, enhanced hallucination is removed after one up after image oh my god this character's all over the place either way we'll hop in i'll try to explain it a little bit as we uh as we as we run through but the basic gist is you use your first card to get rid of the debuffs that she applies one of the characters will have a worse debuff than the other two uh and then you use the second card to do big damage because it has uh it i think the modifier on the card does like 40 percent extra damage per um debuff on the field and then um, after they get removed, if you use the combo in the first turn, she will reapply her shield for one turn as well. So I'll try to go over it again because I know that is a lot to go over. It is, uh, it's is—it's more of like <laughs> a visual learning experience. These uh, passives are getting much more crazy. So that looks like evasion food. So I'm going to save the rank up for this turn, actually. Okay, probably a bot. Never mind unfortunate but so we remove the first debuff because we hit him with this this is actually going to increase our basic stats for the character as well which is kind of nice and then we use the second one which gets rid of the debuff and applies the next one and uh, we actually stun the arthur who had the lowest hp percentage which is actually kind of crazy that he of all of these characters has the lowest because i would assume it would have been percival but i guess not um we pull an extra one of the dark moon card if we could have gotten the other card it would have been a little bit better because uh it's going to reapply the first debuff i think at the beginning of the turn so because we don't have her other card we're not actually going to be able to continue her stuff but you can see she tanks pretty well we lost our shield because it gets applied on turn one and we won't reapply it unless we do the combo and since we already had it we kind of lost it there um let's see here Let's maybe upgrade on to Hell and then get rid of Escanor if I can. I'm actually not confident that we're going to kill Escanor here. But I really need... Maybe I should have just played for card space, actually, just so that way I could uh, potentially, you know, have more card draw to get her other card. Okay, not killing Escanor yet. Probably could have killed Percival there instead, actually. No Sabnat cards. A bit unfortunate. Let's see who he goes for, though. Hell does not have Nanashi debuffs on, which is unfortunate. He didn't pop his passive yet, so the bot is uh, not doing so hot there. Okay, attacking into the Hell. I guess I'm fine with that. And then a Percival card. Okay, so this first match is basically just going to be not great, but that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way, because it's a bot. Uh, hmm... Out of curiosity, I'm going to do like full rank ups and just see what that'll do. Because her passive also only works if there's two or more, or if there's more than two characters on the field. So if you kill 
two people off and the backliner comes down out of the field, that's only two people, which means that you won't be applying her debuffs anymore. Okay, that was that was pretty decent. 288. Percival does uh, kind of like negate some of the AoE damage there, so that wasn't fantastic. Jillian in the back, which means that their team actually had more HP, so I mean, that's cool, I guess. It did actually apply the shield back, though. Hmm. I thought we were going to have to do the full combo for that. Maybe I'm just not 100% sure on how this character works just yet. Passives are going to get so long, they got to add the passives into the cards. God, the passives are really long. All right, we have an Escanor. He's going first. I am running Evasion Food, so I'm interested to see how this goes. Um, okay, we have the Sabnak combo and everything. Because I'm going second, I will be able to reapply my shield by using my cards and everything, which means I'll keep the taunt on Sabnak, which is good. Now for me is a little scary, and we will end up disabling Sabnak, so I gotta I gotta be a little cautious about that, I guess. Because if I'm gonna upgrade and just go for the, the double level two, then I'm gonna disable myself and I would have to pull another rank up to cleanse it. So, okay. Baited that. Single target onto her. Let's see the tank. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Almost killed me there. That was, okay, that was more than I thought it would be. I did survive though, and that's with only free cosmetics, so that's good for me. The Nalphamy is pretty scary, I think. Okay, so we're, we're changing the first debuff into the second one. And then we're removing this one. Stuns Nalphamy? No, it stunned Escanor. Escanor had the lowest HP? That's crazy. Okay, no Sabnak cards, but we do have Taunt up this turn, which is good. He did pop his passive as well, which is kind of scary. Hopefully he doesn't have another AoE, but we'll see. Okay, no AoE. Pretty good damage. Level 2 single target. I think Sabnak's dead here. Okay, she did die. Unfortunate. Uh... Damn, and I can't get to the Arthur because of the stance. I don't actually know what my best course of action is here. Um, let's do this. And then this. That, that'll give us two ultimates in hand. He'll have to kind of worry about that. But Sabnak's dead, so I'm not sure how this is going to go just yet. I'm not a big fan of Gother, to be honest. Like, I know that he's a good character because the rank up is fantastic. It also cleanses, which is good. But the fact that he only boosts stats on the Sins team is unfortunate, and we can't use, like, three different race cards to upgrade our cards on him or anything. His passive is just not very well suited to be on the Unknown team, unfortunately. So that's the only big thing I dislike. So she's dead, unfortunately. Not having Tarmia link on her will do that to you. We do still end up getting the uh, the Gother ultimate here, which the Gother ultimate is really good. I doubt it's going to kill him though, but we'll try, I guess. I doubt we, I doubt we can do much here because two six Gother. Yeah, not great. Ah, uh, he almost died, which is kind of good, but he actually has the Tarmia link. And I think that would have just popped the uh, the res, unfortunately. So, all right, got another match here. Okay, demon team is kind of interesting. Not a hundred percent sure on this. Okay, ooh, well we gotta use it. Triple or the double level t uh, three turn one is crazy. I'm interested to see the damage on this. Watch him have evasion food on. Okay, that one's not too crazy, but it, that's not the big damage dealing card. Let's see it. Ah, uh, 240. That's not great. I gotta be honest, it's not like super great. Huh, okay. Then again, I mean, she's our tank. So, I do think that Fitoria is like the go-to character. I didn't want to use Fitoria for this showcase because she is a collab character. But, um... 
Yeah, I'm not sure. We can... He cleansed off our stun, unfortunately, as well, which really sucks for us. I'm going to try to get rid of Melly here, I think. So let's go for... Let's go for this. I Because it's part of our passive, I think we'll still get the basic stats from using that. Plus, we get our ultimate, actually, which is very surprising. Um, and then let's do this into this. And then that should kill off the Melly, hopefully. So, boom. A little bit of basic stat increase, I think, from her passive. I'm really hoping this kills the Melly. Okay, okay, cool. That was a little scary. Gelda's a little concerning as well, but Hell is a natural counter to her, which is great. He is popping his stats on DK now, which is... That might be scary as well. Uh, not sure if we'll survive with Sabnak here or not. We do have some basic stat increase from her passive. And we... Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the, what is this? Forgot they changed the menu on it. This is so nice. What? This is so good. I can immediately see like, oh, she's only got 70K from her passive. That's so good. You don't even have to like, in, like hold on, like click on the character. That's so good. All right, kills off hell. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh no, is he gonna kill her too? Okay, that doesn't kill. Oh, just barely. Ah, but that kills, I think. No. Yeah, I don't think this team formation is very good. I think this team, like, we're just lacking... I think we're lacking a little bit of DPS, because it takes a little bit of time for Hell to kind of get powered up. Not a big fan of this. Maybe we swap the Hell out for something else? I'm not sure. Ooh, okay, good CC on this guy. We get an extra weak point for tier. Uh, hmm... Oh, I, my tear is actually taking taking the taunt. Dude, the crit defense on that is actually really good. Ah, oh, if he could have survived that, the weak point would have went crazy. That's unfortunate. I forgot that uh, for whatever reason, it's like far right takes taunt. That is unfortunate. Well, we'll try the try the combo here, but I'm expecting this one to be a loss. I'm going to have to end up buying another ticket, I think. So far, I mean, I'm not, like, terribly impressed, but... Okay. Escanar took a good amount of damage there. Mmm, pretty good. Not crazy good, but pretty good. Gother got stunned. It's unfortunately getting cleansed off because Melly. I think with Melly, ideally you just want to use this card because he'll cleanse the second debuff off and then they'll keep the uh, the stun on. But I think Melly, yeah, he's upgrading Melly and he's just going to like single target me here. Here we go. Yeah, that's a bit of a yikes, man. I need to play that better against Melee, though. I think if I'm going up against a Melee, I need to just use this, the first card and not the second card. And I also need to make sure that Sabnak is the one with the taunt. So I think this works better. Okay, another Sins team. Doesn't get to go first. Hmm. Um, I'm not actually sure who has the taunt here, then. Let's upgrade on to Tier. Let's try to make him our main DPS here. We're going to do this into... I don't know if I should get rid of Gother or... Melly. So by using this... Uh, this Sabnat card first and not following up with the second card, Melly will cleanse the, the red debuffs, the red mind break debuffs off. Unless I kill him. Okay, I don't kill him. But, so he's going to cleanse those off. Actually, I think he's going to cleanse the tear off instead. So, kind of cucked myself there a little bit. Yeah, so okay. He, he still can't use... AoEs? Her passive is kind of confusing in that regard. Because it's either... I think it's AoEs or single targets. And it's only attacks too. Because I've seen that the... 
the JP players were a little confused about whether or not it was supposed to be um, the other stuff. Uh, like, it, like they were getting the debuff on them, but they could still use some cards, which was kind of odd. Uh, I'm a l I mean, I know Melly's gonna die, but I'm not 100% sure on the Gother here. So, will I reapply my shield by using this? I think it did. Boom. Okay, that was good. Um, wait, did I? Yeah, okay, I did. It's just when it zooms in, it's like invisible. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Tier lives, he puts a debuff on them uh, already so the stun won't get cleansed. Yeah, so with Tier on the team, I, I think I'm fine to actually do the uh, the double double attack card. Let me throw one more in, because honestly, like the first setup that we were using was not great. I just didn't really like how that was kind of working out. Like, if they were to kill off Sabnak, it was basically GG at that point. Like, I, Hell just was not able to come back, especially without Tarmiel Link. But I want to have Tarmiel Link on Sabnak, because I want her to survive, because it's her showcase. For the seal, uh, when the icon has one card on it, it's a single target. And when the seal has two cards on it, it's the AoE. Oh, okay, 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 cool. Good to know, good to know. Um, I think I'm going to upgrade into tier. And then do the combo. And then we can, we can use tier next turn. I'm just hoping that... Well, I think this will reapply my shield for the turn, so even if we weren't taunting, like even if Tyr was taunting instead, I think it reapplies the shield, which means that she should take should take priority, I think. Okay, so we evade the AoE. Single target from Arthur, which he doesn't have his passive proc, so no big deal there. And then I'm pretty sure this is a bot, so oh well. Uh, let's go this, this, this. Boom. Single target onto Arthur. He does have crit defense snacks. Show me this weak point. Okay, I mean, eh, I was kind of, I was kind of hoping at least Bond would die too, but I guess that's okay. Okay, we could go for the level 3 here. That's a bit of damage. His crit defense on his unity is coming really big and handy here. Uh, wasn't enough to <laughs> survive a uh, bond, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this just for card space. Tear not critting is so sad. Yeah, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. He's he's definitely starting to show his age a little bit. Okay, boom. Ooh, okay, that did way more than I was expecting it to. I mean, the backliner took most of the damage there, but she's the one with, like, no damage reduction on at the moment, so... Uh... Okay. All right, so I am going to be able to get the ultimate off here. Like I said, it is 4-6, so take that with a grain of salt if you're 1-6 or, or, you know, around there. Uh, I guess we just throw it, right? Let's throw that, and then it's actually putting on the Mind Break ones, so we, we should be able to use that to get more damage out, I think. Which I assume the, the ultimate itself is going to kill. Okay, Bond survived. He also gets stunned. Okay, 63k. I'm not terribly impressed by her damage. I feel like on the JP side of things, I've seen her doing more damage. But then again, maybe it was from, like, gear, uh, yeah, geared showcases. I'm not too sure. Hmm. Tear honestly trash now. I, I mean, maybe not trash, but he's definitely falling off. His, his, uh, his unity is actually still really good, so that's nice. All right, going second. Human team with... Oof, okay. With Roxy is a little scary. I'll be honest. I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, we could go for the combo, which is probably smart if I want to keep the evasion up. Dodging that's kind of nice. 
or evasion, sorry, if I want to keep the shield up. Okay, not doing too big of damage there. He was critting me, so Roxy pop into his passive as well. Uh, hmm. I think... I think we go for the passive here. So let's try to reapply her stuff. I don't know what her lifesteal stat is. I should probably look at that. But, um... Hopefully that'll get her close to full. Boom. Okay, that was pretty good damage on these characters. I think the Berserk from Tear is helping with that. Roxy dies. She's squishy, so that's not, like, terribly impressive. Escanor almost dead, so that is pretty nice. We are back to full. I, yeah, that's going to throw me off so much. So that's not, that's not too bad. We, can, we could go for a level 3 as well. And we, because it'll cleanse. But we don't have the first... We don't have the first card, so I'm not sure if it would be worth it or not. I kind of want to try it out anyway, just to see. Okay, passive proct. There's the, the infect. I don't think she's living, unfortunately. Yeah, single target. There's no way. Unfortunate. Extra damage goes on to tier. Okay. He's kind of low. Tier is a little low. Um, guess we do this. Not sure how good this is going to do. Can we kill Escanor? No. Kills Liz. Arthur does have Tarmiel. Can we kill? Okay, nice. We kill. He's got a lot of attack related, though. Or, well, eh. 40%. That's, that's good. Don't get me wrong. He probably just one-shots tier here, and then I'm I'm GG'd. Yeah. Ah, it's just... It's too much. He can survive the hit, but unfortunately not much past that. Um... do this. It'll delete the, the silver card. He'll probably just merge into another card, if I had to guess. But we're going to get Gother's ultimate. I don't think we can win this. I think since Sabnax is part of the trio, uh, we'll get August and September Festes, the other two. I really doubt it. I doubt that they would do them like that back-to-back -back like that. But I guess you never really know. Ah, did we survive that? Okay, we survived that. Let's go. He can't have Tarmia link on, so that's good. We can stop him from ulting. My hand's getting a little clogged with uh, Nanashi cards, though. Oh, we win! That kills. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, that was, that was really close. Obviously, you know, Victoria is going to be the main go-to... DPS for your unknown team. There's no doubt about it. Like, you, you really want to have Fitoria. So, if you don't have Fitoria, I mean, it's doable. Like, you know, with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of finesse, you might be able to, you know, pull some stuff off, get a decent team going. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure yet. So, either way, I think, uh, for this little initial showcase, we're going to call it there. Um, the passive is still pretty confusing. I know we didn't really go over it in its entirety, uh, but uh, there's a lot to the passive. There's just so much going on. So it's probably going to take me a couple of extra days to really get like ironed out on like how exactly this is like working in battle, of course. But we reapply the shield and everything. Uh, we did reapply the shield without doing the full combo at one point, so I need to figure out what's going on with that and everything. Obviously, it's just a lot. Like there's so many different effects and everything to worry about that, you know, it's just going to be a matter of just trial and error or just, like, seeing it happen and everything for me. But either way, new character. Pretty cool overall. I like the design. Like, I like the idea behind the character. Like, I like debuff units and stuff in general. And uh, she's definitely got some interesting stuff going on. So looking forward to trying out some different teams with her and everything. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, the YouTube showcase. So for the video stuff, uh, if you want to be on stream next time, obviously feel free to subscribe, come by and hang out with us. You can be in the chat when we do these showcases, whenever new banners drop. But, uh, yeah, that is it for me. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys tomorrow for more showcases.